What's up everybody? This is your boy Witty Wolf 36 also known as Wolf. We're going to be discussing in this video today is a new vehicle that just recently came out. The new B11 Strike Force, an aircraft to be more specific. I have yet to purchase it myself and I know that just as you guys are, I am curious as to what this vehicle is fully capable of and as well as is it even is it even worth the investment? And I know that you guys don't want to spend your money, so that's basically what I'm here for so you don't have to. So, I'm going to see if this vehicle actually even holds up. Also, what's very informative about this jet in particular is that it's actually a replica of a real-life A-10 Thunderbolt jet, which was manufactured by a company called Fairchild Republic for the United States Air Force, which is insane that Rockstar would actually even consider putting this into GTA because it's such a beautiful aircraft. Alright, we got the purchase and we're going to skip straight to the customization. Alright, we got the customization. Let's go. Um, I spare no expense when it comes to the customization of these vehicles. Money is no object, people. So, Okay. Gonna go into brakes. You got countermeasures. I'm curious as to if I could actually put on a crew color onto this aircraft. Explosives, I usually go typically chaffed. Or no, no. I'll go cluster. I usually go... Yeah, cluster. When it comes to uh, chaffed and flares, I usually go... But let me see, countermeasures. That's what I was looking for. The chapter and the flares are in here. There we go. I'll just go flare though. I think that this vehicle is already up on the Hydra because of the Hydra does not have flares. And usually when you have to dodge oncoming, homecoming rockets, when it comes to the Hydra, you have to go in circles. And this vehicle, you got flares. But is the speed there though? Is the speed, when in comparison, does it compete with the Hydra? And I don't think so. Call it intuition. I just don't see it happening. I think that the Hydra is just too strong and reign supreme when it comes to the cannon and the speed. And I think that a lot of people were dissatisfied with this vehicle because of the minigun's performance on it. So we're just going to find out, you know, and see. All right, let's go. I'm here in Fort Zancudo in the hangar that I own. And we're going to take off and see what this baby is actually capable of. I think right off the bat, it does feel kind of heavy, um, even despite actually even customizing it customizing the speed and making it go a little bit more faster it's actually still a little bit slow but i find that it's a little bit more has a little bit more maneuverability when it comes to flying at low altitudes but it's it's really heavy i think that this is one of those vehicles like where if you have the money to blow then you'll invest in it but i think it's kind of a waste of money i don't see the hydra like in this uh, vehicle in particular in a dogfight, I don't see this vehicle winning. I just don't see it. The what I've seen so far when it comes to the cannon burst is that the Hydra has more of a heavy payload when it comes to shooting the cannon fire, and this one has less, and it's not as effective. So, look as you see, it's not as effective, and they're very tiny, and which means that it would take a very long time to blow up any kind of vehicle. We got the typical cluster bombs from the Bombay doors. I don't see it winning in a dogfight, man. I just don't see it. Um, unless you have your money to blow on this vehicle, then I say go ahead and buy it. But if it's if you're looking for a vehicle that's reliable, that's efficient, that's a good investment, and you're saving up all your money just to buy it, then then buy the Hydra. Don't buy the laser, because the laser is not as versatile as the Hydra, because the Hydra can at least hover. So, yeah, invest your money in a Hydra, man. This vehicle is more for aesthetics and for looks it looks like a it's a beautiful machine it's a beautiful aircraft if it, it flies really good it's very maneuverable um it looks nice it has cool liveries for it but it just takes a long time to kill it to be really effective to your enemies at all like even when it comes to shooting cars it takes a while to, to even destroy them and be effective but yet the Hydra is like more effective. It's cannon fire, it has a heavy payload, and it just blows up things with like one shot instantly. And this thing can hover, so that's another thing down on it, is that it can't hover. Because that's not what it was made for, you know? Typically in real life, this vehicle was made for destroying armored vehicles and armored personnel. This was a vehicle that was used for support and for ground attack missions, basically, in real life. And, but it it does have a bulky like a bulky feeling it's very sluggish so I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend buying it if you had the money so I guess that's the end of this video 
um, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys would like. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.